And hello there, everyone. Welcome back. I am Pogmod. We're about to take, take on the final battle. It will be a great and epic showdown, to be sure. Let's see, let me throw in Crone Vita there. Let's go with this first. Are we ready? Yes. Oops. Wrong button. I think I'm ready. I've got, I've got some backup saves in case things go to poop. What an angry face! So, presumably this is where the prince has been being tortured the entire time. You know, there's Crow, there's his fancy knight, there's the evil knight, there's the prince, and Duke Kai and Pepper. The Vermilion Throne! He really came. Duh. You're kind of evil. Doing evil things. Welcome all to our tale's grand finale. Ooh, We're here, Crow. Music. Hard to believe it's been less than three weeks since we last met. <laughs> You're telling me. You all look so grown up now. All those ordeals you put yourself through have paid off in spades. Oh, quiet. That's certainly one way to look at it. As much as I hate to admit it, I doubt we could win against you otherwise. The trials we faced brought us together and made us stronger. Especially Laura. I couldn't be more pleased with what we had to do to come this far. I was finally able to move forward too. So yeah, I like to think I grew up a bit. <laughs> a lot of stuff's changed, but you guys ain't one of them. And that's not all. We're here on behalf of Toa, Angelica, and George too. I promised them I'd bring you back and force you to graduate with them. <sighs> and it's a promise I intend to keep. And then, once you've graduated, you can abandon them, I guess, because you've graduated and aren't a student anymore? And then jail and execution. Oh, man, give me a break. I agree, Crow. You're telling me you've done all that and it still hasn't dawned on you. Get it through your thick skull. It's not going to happen. You know, Crow... I don't have an issue with you, per se. I have an issue with their attitude towards you. You are the voice of reason. <laughs> That's not true, Crow. Huh? Those who are confronted with impossible odds can choose to react in one of two ways. Abandon hope and accept a pitiful fate. Or cling to that hope and forge ahead, overcoming any and all that life throws their way. That's what it means to dream. <laughs> Gasp! Just like you, Crow. You had a dream to murder the Chancellor. And you accomplished your dream. Vida. She's absolutely right. Maybe we are just young and naive. You didn't let friendship or morality or anything like that stand in your way, Crow. You overcame the impossible. But if anything, I feel that it was our youth and naivete that allowed us to come this far to begin with. And we've done it without losing a single member along the way, carrying the hopes of everyone we've met with us. Yeah, the, this war has been remarkably bloodless. Let's all remember that. I'd say that's pretty amazing, wouldn't you? And for that, I don't see any harm in dreaming of the tomorrow that we all want to come. No one can say that the chances of it happening are zero after all. <sighs> and all things considered, I'm in something of a difficult position as well. 
So I sincerely hope you don't think yourself some special snowflake compared to the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, join the club. My background's all weird, too. Yeah, what is your background? So spit it out! Tell us what you really want. You can deal with all the crappy stuff later. He got what he really wanted! He killed the Chancellor! He, he sniped him! With a gun! Well, I mean, Chancellor's alive. But but he got what he wanted. Honestly. I I committed the murder I wanted to do, everybody. I spent years striving towards it. I could have stopped at any time. But I didn't. <laughs> you may have joined the Academy to stop people from working out your true identity, sure. And it worked! But you made a big mistake by letting yourself get wrapped up with a bunch of softies like Class 7. Yeah, no kidding. You guys would haunt me to the ends of the earth, wouldn't you? Hmm. <laughs> oh, Duke Cayenne Pepper. My, what a touching spectacle. I know. It's a little absurd. You work tirelessly to pursue the impossible together. You lose yourself in the passion of the moment. They said it was impossible for me to manipulate things and take over and strap the prince to a throne with a weird creepy head wrap thing going on him. Innocence truly is the privilege of the young. Duke Cayenne. You're evil, unlike Crow. Wait. Oh, that's his highness, the crown prince. He's been blindfolded. Yeah, with a weird blindfold. Have you no shame? Yeah, Crow. Have you no shame working with this kind of guy? And what's that huge red thing behind him? It's definitely a knight. Come on, guys. You know what they look like. That's the Vermilion Knight, Testarossa. Ooh. It was sealed away under the capital a long time ago, and it was responsible for countless calamities. It's often referred to as the demon which wields a thousand weapons. I like that name, though. And to expand on what Emma said... The ones who supposedly sealed it away were Dreykel's the Lionheart and the Lance Maiden. Ha <laughs> ha! It certainly was. And the only ones capable of rousing it from its slumber are descendants of the Honored Bloodline. I wonder how they figured that out. Thus, why His Highness has so graciously chosen to cooperate with uh, us. Getting a little creepy there, Duke Cayenne. <sighs> Duke Cayenne, surely you realize how utterly disrespectful you are being. I have a little dream of my own, you see. A dream my ancestor was unable to reach in his lifetime. One that I will make a reality in his I want, place. I want everyone here to remember how important we, are, we, we how much importance we put on pursuing our dreams against impossible odds. A dream? What ancestor? Wait. Was this ancestor alive during the War of the Lions? Precisely! Emperor Orthros Rice Arnor. Born to the first of the Emperor's secondary wives, the daughter of a duke. He Ooh. occupied Heimdall at the time of the War of the Lions, but fell to Dreykels and became known as the False Emperor. And I inherit his blood. Impossible. Why? That seems very possible indeed. I had no idea that the Cayenne family were descendants of the False Emperor. <laughs> Hardly a surprise. When the war came to a close, that truth was buried. I suppose it was Emperor Dreykel's way of trying to avoid any further conflict among the nobles. But not a day. Not one day in all these years has my family forgotten the sheer humiliation. Let's all respect him for not giving up on his dreams. And so I dreamed of a future where I would take back the Vermilion Knight and this infernal castle. The proofs of ownership over this city that Emperor Orthros had disgracefully stripped away. <gasps> That's all? Hey guys, hold on. He had a dream, you need to respect that. You're talking about, you, you made a big deal about convictions. That's the problem though, is that villains can have them too. You occupied Heimdall and started a civil war and that's your reason? 
Mm -hmm. uh, again, Crow teamed up with him just to shoot a man, and then kept backing him through all of this. Because he got to shoot a guy. Well, the Chancellor's death was desirable regardless, and the Society's diva provided invaluable assistance. The Imperial Liberation Front proved to be serviceable pawns. The Azure Awakener managed to awaken his knight. The time was right in all regards. Only a fool would idly watch this moment pass. I did intend to operate the Vermilion Knight myself, but as I feared, only those of direct descent are capable of doing so. You okay, you are of direct descent, though. If you're descended from the False Emperor, well, they aren't our family. But that's the thing with, with genetics, right? So eventually you... Yeah, and yet it matters not. I have everything I need to return this city to its original, rightful form as His Highness's guardian. And once my will is done, I shall restore order to Erebonia, returning it to the way it once was and always should have been. That is my ambition. My family's destiny. What nonsense. Nah. Now suddenly, dreams and ambition are bad. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. I'm afraid I can't even pretend to care about your ambitions. It's not my place to decide how Erebonia should be run, and I'm not here to lecture you on your ancestors' transgressions. But I will stop you from running Erebonia that way. Oh? We have our own ambitions. There we go. We're here because we promised Princess Alvin and Prince Oliver that we would rescue their brother from your clutches. And if putting a stop to your dream is what it takes to save His Highness the Crown Prince, then that's exactly what we'll do. Um, so, none of this, you're not doing it to just be a good person, just uh, because he's objectively horrible and evil, and everything he does is bad, you're, you're like, our dream is, we got a promise to fulfill. You impudent little... Now, now, Duke. He respects your dream, you can respect his dream, however petty all of your dreams are. <sighs> I think everyone has said their piece now. You won't be going back on your word to let us handle this part, right? Huh. Do as you wish. It should provide some light entertainment until the ritual is complete. I expect to be amused. We could skip right to using our knights, but might as well savor the moment while we still can, right? So, for the opening act, I'll fight you as I am now. Crow versus Class 7. Crow. <laughs> Very well. And I'll be fighting alongside him. Seeing as how you have the famed Purple Lightning with you, it wouldn't be much of a fair fight otherwise. I feel like... a Class A Bracer is outmatched by an Angius. Aw, you flatter me. Sadly, I trust your idea of a fair fight about as much as I trust me missing a point-blank shot. <laughs> oh, do excuse me. Emma, I want you to fight with everything you have. We'll see whether you have the resolve necessary to shoulder a witch's burden. Don't worry, I will. Not because of the duty I've been given, but to demonstrate the limitless potential I've found within myself. As the last remaining member and leader of the Imperial Liberation Front. A group of terrorists that almost sparked a war with Calvard and tried to use cannons to kill countless people to murder the Chancellor. I'm going to make our very last fight one to remember. And as the one tasked with guiding you to the end, I think it's time I did just that. See, she's just like Emma, supportive. A combat link? They can do that? It makes no difference to us. Class 7, ready yourselves! Because Combat Link or not, I know we'll triumph! Right! right. right.
This is it! Come at me with all you've got! Witness the witchcraft of the Azure Abyss. My turn. Hmm. All right. Who do I have with me? You know what I'm gonna do? I leave this to you. I'll show you how it's done. Holy shit! Protect us! I'm gonna slap down one of those. My turn. I'm counting on ya. Understood. You want to know what they're up to. Yeah. Sigmangius, which of the abyss, ends with her familiar, beckoning the story to its end. How about this? Huh? Here I go. Let's overdrive then. Overdrive! Do this. Understood. Understood. Oh yeah, strength up. Uh, I'm sorry, Vita. They're off guard. Got you. Let's move. On the critical. My turn. Uh, no command seems appropriate. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Understood. Okay. My turn. Huh? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> How will this feel? I Frozen poison. Perhaps. How bad is this? How bad is it? Now, turn to ice. <laughs> mm, Could have been worse. Witness the fruits of my training. Radiant Lion. Oh, <laughs> my, I'm impressed. Very good. Yeah. Predictable. <laughs> They're off guard. Oh, fifteen K. <laughs> now I'm having fun. My turn. Um. <laughs> Now's our chance. An opening. <laughs> right. Reflect, you know what? Let's go. Yeah. Very well. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Leave, Leave it, to, it me. to me. Everyone's stronger, faster. <laughs> Some of them slightly invincible. Eat this. Predictable. <laughs> They're off guard. Got you. <laughs> My turn. Here I go. Uh, all right. You know what? I I still want to detect him. Yeah. And nice awakener fights with Oliaz as the front leader, uh, and as the member of Classic. Can do this. Light. Rain upon us. Leave this to me. Huh? Now 
Now's our chance. Got you. And then we radiant lion, hopefully killing Rita. Witness the fruit. <laughs> How foolish of me. There we are. My turn. Was it so bad? Oh, crow. Crow, 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 crow. Crow, crow, even. Not bad. Thank you, Laura, for being so potent. That's the power of the eight leaves. Yay! Ooh, level 131. I did it! <laughs> I've only just begun. <laughs> I've got this. Huh? Thank goodness! I feel stronger than ever! I'm awesome! <laughs> A matter of course. Alright! Oh my! I didn't see this coming. What'd I tell you? <laughs> it's... it's... like seven on two. Don't underestimate my classmates. They're a tough crowd for being all dreams and sunshine. <laughs> so they are. Crow? Vita? Ah, enough of this nonsense! I need not remind you how if you were to lose against them, our contract would... Butt out, you. Gasp! I beg your pardon? All right, let's wrap this up. This is it, Reen. You ready for the finale? Yeah, I am. Ready? I was waiting on you. Heed my, my call. call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Acknowledge. Look at that card piece. Have you ever seen a more manly sight than a giant robot with a giant card piece flying through a castle of death? I don't think so. Celine for this one. Oh well. Reen! This is a battle between Awakeners. None should interfere. She's right. All we can do is watch. <sighs> it's frustrating to be unable to help. But if we must. I mean, you could you could do something about the prince. Kai and Pepper over there. Put our trust in Reen. Rita? All that could still be done with. Is that the sword you forged from Zemirian Ore? Pretty impressive. Guess I don't have to hold back anymore. <sighs> hmm? What? You getting cold feet or something? No! Stab him! Stab him in the face! Yeah, I think I am. Regardless of whether I win or I lose, this is the end. And I can't help but get this nagging feeling like things will never be the same between us after this. That's... well, Rian. Currently your enemies. So you don't want things to be the same. Also, he's evil. Evil. I think that's what I'm afraid of. Your entire relationship was built on lies! Don't act so spoiled. The future you want is only going to happen by making the most of the present. Like I did when I murdered the Chancellor. Whatever happened to dragging me back to the academy and forcing me to graduate? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Stop flip-flopping, Reen. You're right. This time, I'm not going to hold back. 
This isn't a fight for this nation's future. It's got nothing to do with our classmates. This is a fight for me. And right now, all that matters to me is surpassing you. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Divine Knights are all about power, pure and simple. You shouldn't have to think about your feelings. They should just be a part of you. And just as a blacksmith pours his soul into forging a stronger sword, you should use those feelings to strengthen your resolve. Okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. I won't let anyone interfere. This is going to be our final battle. That's exactly how I want it to be. We'll fight until we can fight no more. Until our strength runs dry and our souls burn out! It was a little dramatic. <laughs> and you know what? We're past talking now. We're gonna take a break here. And then we're gonna come back. And then we're going to do the fight. I think it's only fair to, that these, these final battles get the full focus of an entire episode. Uh, thank you, of course, for watching. Share your thoughts, your comments. I love to read them. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And support me on Patreon or follow me on Twitter. I'll see you soon.